Hello my ATITs friends, my future RN friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I have prepared 10 review questions about science, mostly anatomy and physiology. So I would call this segment uh, series number two because I have made um, 11 questions the other day and I posted it um, on my channel. So. Um, check it out and in this uh, new series I have like I said I have 10 um, review questions so let's get started oh before that make sure you grab a piece of paper and a pen so that you can answer with me and in every questions I will go over and answer it so that um, you know you know the answer as we go along okay so let's get started Okay, the first question, um, the functions of the immune system is or are A, to fight disease-causing germs or pathogens like bacteria, viruses, parasites, or fungi, and to remove them from the body. B, to recognize and neutralize harmful substances from the environment. C, to fight disease-causing changes in the body such as cancer cells. D, B, and C only, or letter E, A, B, and C. So I don't know why it's shaded pink, but you guys think of the question and be ready to answer. Again, the functions of the immune system is are A, to fight disease-causing germs or pathogens like bacteria, viruses, parasites, or fungi, and to remove them from the body. B, to recognize and neutralize harmful substances from the environment. C, to fight disease-causing changes in the body such as cancer cells. D, B and C only, or E, A, B and C. Okay, so the correct answer is letter E. A, B and C are functions task of immune system so basically all of them are the functions of the immune system okay next question the following are functions of the circulatory system except blank a transportation of nutrients gases and waste products b maintenance of constant body temperature or thermoregulation the other term C, maintaining fluid balance within the body, or D, gas exchange, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Again, the following are functions of the circulatory system except blank. A, transportation of nutrients, gases, and waste products. B, maintenance of constant body temperature, or also known as thermoregulation. C, maintaining fluid balance within the body, or D, gas exchange, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay, are you ready? The answer is letter D, gas exchange, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Um, this is a function of the respiratory system, not circul circulatory system. Okay, for the next question, the main function of the pituitary gland is A. To receive information about the state of the sleep-wake cycle from the environment and convey this information to produce and secrete the hormone melatonin. B. To produce a tight barrier that prevents foreign substances from entering the body while minimizing the loss of moisture, heat, and other constituents. C, to produce critical hormones, which are chemical substances that control various bodily functions, or D, none of the above. If you watch my previous video, you will be able to recognize this question and answer it correctly. Okay, so the main function of the pituitary gland is A, to receive information about the state of the sleep-wake cycle from the environment and convey this information to produce and secrete the hormone melatonin. B, to form a tight barrier that prevents foreign substances from entering the body while 
minimizing the loss of moisture, heat, and other constituents. C, to produce critical hormones, which are chemical substances that control various bodily functions. Or D, none of the above. Okay, so are you ready? The answer is letter C, to produce critical hormones, which are chemical substances that control various bodily functions. This is the main function of the pituitary gland. Letter B is the function of keratinocytes. And letter A is the function of the pineal gland. I had this question previously about pineal gland. So make sure you get it. Okay, the next question. It is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. It is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. A, right ventricle. B, SA node. C, right atrium. Or D, aorta. Again, it is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. Is it A, right ventricle, B, SA node, C, right atrium, or D, aorta? Are you ready? Okay, the answer to this question is aorta. Aorta. <laughs> okay, aorta is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. The blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve then it travels through the aorta, making a cane-shaped curve that allows other major arteries to deliver oxygen-rich blood to the brain, muscles, and other cells. The SA node is the heart's natural pacemaker. And the right atrium receives blood from the veins that has already circulated through the body and pumps it over to the right ventricle. While the right ventricle passes the blood on the pulmonary artery, which sends it to the lungs to pick up oxygen. So the answer is aorta for this question. Okay, next. Okay, this is, I'll give you a clue. This is anatomy question. What type of muscle is in the shaded portion of the image below? Is it A. Deltoid, B. Trapezius, C. Latissimus dorsi, or D. Pectoralis major? Again, what type of muscle is in the shaded portion of the image below? A. Deltoid, B. Trapezius, C. Latissimus dorsi, D. Pectoralis major. I remember I I think I had a question like this during my exam. I'm not exactly sure how they um, structured it, but yeah, this is one of the questions I met during my TIS exam. Okay, what type of muscle is in the shaded portion of the image below? Are you ready? Okay, to answer this question, the answer would be letter B, trapezius. So, either um, trapezius is either of a pair of large triangular, triangular muscles extending over the back of the neck and shoulders and moving the head and the shoulder blades. So, that's the definition for trapezius and you can see it in the picture. Okay, next question. The following are functions of the respiratory system except blank. A. Gas exchange, oxygen and carbon dioxide. B. Breathing movement of air. C. Sound production. D. Protection from dust and microbes entering body through mucus production, cilia and coughing. Or E. Production of critical hormones. Okay, the following are functions of the respiratory system except blank. A. Gas exchange, oxygen and carbon dioxide. B. Breathing, movement of air. C. Sound production. D. Protection from dust and microbes entering body through mucus production, cilia and coughing. Or E. 
production of radical hormones. By the way, guys, when you are taking the um, TIS exam, make sure you analyze the questions carefully and whatever you think is the closest answer to the question, um, use your instinct. Do not, um, what's that, double guess? Or do not second guess yourself, okay? Because that's um, really bad. So anyway, the answer to this question is letter E, production of critical hormones, because it is a function of the pituitary gland, not a respiratory system function. Okay, so next question. Oh, my question is not in pink, but it's okay. I don't know, I just like pink in my PowerPoint. The blank is a hollow muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. I think this is a very obvious question, but who knows? You know, sometimes the question during your TES exam is really easy, and sometimes it can be difficult also. So I'm just here trying to help you guys out, and I'm also thankful that you're helping me watching my videos and uh, subscribing to my channel. So anyway, this question, the hollow, the blank is a hollow muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Is it A, esophagus, B, larynx, C, pharynx, or D, epiglottis? Okay, again, the blank is a hollow muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. A, esophagus, B, larynx, C, pharynx, or D, epiglottis? Epiglottis. Sorry for my accent. So anyway, the answer is esophagus. It's letter A. The esophagus, esophagus, sorry. The esophagus is a hollow muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach and it lies behind the trachea or the windpipe and in front of the spine. Spine. Okay. Okay, this one. This is a similar question on my first video. I would put that um, video first series and then this one would be second series so that it would be easier for you guys to like just continue watching or you know where to watch next what to watch next okay which pyrimidine cannot exist in DNA I remember the last question I said which pyrimidine cannot exist in RNA so now which pyrimidine cannot exist in DNA is it a cytosine B uracil C. Guanine or D. Thymine? Okay, the answer to this question is uracil, letter B. Okay, because uracil is only found in RNA. That's why RNA is um, AUCG, that's the base pairing rule, and then for DNA is ATCG. Okay, so thymine and cytosine is found or are found in both DNA and RNA. And thymine is normally found in DNA. Okay. ATCG. Okay, so next question. It is a condition that causes numbness, tingling, or weakness in your hand. So, it is a condition that causes numbness, tingling, or weakness in your hand. So, when you analyze the question during your exam, you can try to see which word is closer to the answer, you know. So, hand, which um, term in these choices, which one is associated with, associated, associated with, your, with hand? Is it A, anemia? B. Carpal tunnel syndrome. C. Vitamin D deficiency. That's way too far. And D. Rickets. Okay, are you ready to answer? Okay, the answer is letter B. Carpal tunnel syndrome. It is also known as median nerve compression. And this is a condition that causes numbness, tingling, or weakness in your hand. Which is, you know, you're having a hard time gripping on stuff. And it happens because of pressure on your median nerve, which runs the length of your arm, goes through a passage um, in your wrist called the carpal tunnel, and ends in your hand. 
while anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissue. While rickets is the shortening and weakening of bones in children, usually because of an extreme and prolonged vitamin D deficiency. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you learn in this video and we'll see what's next. Okay, the next one. The top number, okay, this is um, about blood pressure. The top number which measures the force your heart exerts on the walls of your arteries each time it beats. Okay, again, this is related to blood pressure reading. The top number in your blood pressure reading, which measures the force your heart exerts on the walls of your arteries each time it beats. Is it A, systolic blood pressure, B, diastolic blood pressure, C, MMHG, or D, none of the above? Okay, the top number measures the force your heart exerts the walls of your arteries each time it beats. A. Systolic blood pressure. B. Diastolic. C. MMHG. Or D. None of the above. Okay, the answer is systolic blood pressure. It's the top number that measures the force your heart exerts on the wall of your arteries each time it beats. Diastolic blood pressure is the bottom number which measures the force your heart exerts on the wall of your arteries between beats. Okay, while MMHG is the blood pressure reading, um, it's the measurement in MMHG means millimeters of mercury and is written as systolic pressure, the force of blood against the artery walls as your heart beats over the diastolic pressure, the blood pressure between heartbeats. Okay, so MMHG is written right next to the number of your systolic blood pressure. Okay? Okay, so that's it for tonight or today. I'm recording it at night, so I say tonight. That's it for today, and I hope you enjoy this um, video series for Science Review. And keep checking on my channel because I post videos two or three times a week now for you guys to help out, um, to help study and pass your ATITs exam. So guys, if you need any additional um, study resources or study materials, I would recommend, definitely recommend the smarteditionacademy.com. They have online TIS tutor that is really helpful and their um, study material are very realistic and yeah you better you should check it out they have free complete set or questions in four areas covered in the T's and that you can practice for free and also you know if you pay for the whole package you would benefit from it I guarantee and you will thank me in the future. So this is Beth, once again from Reality Life Series, um, saying I'll see you in my next video. Bye!